What's going on guys? So you probably saw a few videos back where we put the white grill on the truck and we did the custom bow tie on this thing. So I took it apart and painted it and I wanted to dedicate an entire video showing y'all how to do this because it's pretty simple and inexpensive rather than going out and buying a new one because the only ones I found are they're either black and chrome, black and red. You can't get them in like this, Summit White. So we're going to be taking apart my factory grill. Oh, I did see one on Etsy. But it was like 120 bucks and it wasn't even the same like design it was some weird thing and I just, that's just ridiculously expensive so uh, we're going to take this apart show you how i painted it this obviously we did the white on the inside matching the summit white and then the black on the outside so that it contrasts well with the grill however we're going to be sticking the factory black grill back in there and we're going to be doing black on the inside and then white on the outside obviously we won't have to paint the inside of this one but you still want to disassemble it and everything to get it perfectly right and i'm going to show you what paints i used in order to match the summit white because it's pretty much spot on in my opinion and uh, we want it to look really good on this one as well so that's the plan going to show you all in depth video how exactly i take these apart and paint them and then you can match your factory color on your bow tie without spending a bunch of money or honestly it's just not even available so if you just want to be different than everybody that's not going to be able to buy it do it yourself it's going to look good so let's jump to it so first thing you want to do is take this thing apart because if you try doing the whole taping off thing it's just not going to come out as good as possible and even if you are just plastic dipping it you're going to get crap down in the edges it's just not going to be as good as you could potentially do it so it's actually really easy to take these apart all you're going to need is a drill and a drill bit and my drill bit's a little bit small but this is the only one i could find this morning but you're just going to drill out these guys right here and that is all that holds the centerpiece and the bow tie so let's do it Like I said, mine's a little bit small. Usually want one a little bit bigger just to pop out the little head pieces, but take you a little screwdriver or something. Should be able to push them straight through. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so taking apart. I usually like to leave, you know, take this little excess off, but leave these because they'll help you line it up when we're putting it back on and actually will help hold it. We're going to glue it back on. Uh, you can use adhesive double-sided 3M or something if you want, but I'm just like putting glue on there. So now we can paint each one of these individually. We're not painting this one in this application because I want the black center, but in the previous one, we're going to do, I'll show you all that in a second, but we're not going to be doing that in this one. Just getting this guy. So we need to go ahead and get it ready for paint. So I use 2000 grit. You can use a little bit different either way. But essentially, we're just going to sand the ever-loving fire out of this thing to get a proper bond with the paint. All right, so many, many minutes later, sanded it all down. Just scuff it up real good. You can use a little bit more gritty sandpaper. It would be easier to use. But here's the paints that I have used. So this is Dupacolor Perfect Match, and it's GM colors. Uh, I think it's called Olympia White. It's the same thing as Summit White. It's just different code. Uh, GM versus, or GMC, Chevy, whatever. So that's the white one. Uh, this is black, but I found that just this stuff actually worked better on the chrome. So we're just going to paint this down with some white. You can use primer if you want. I've just not found it needed. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with this. Start light, work our way up, turn this chrome into a nice summit white badge. Nice and easy. That's gonna be a good first coat. I like to start them real light, work my way up. Round two, let's lay it on a little thicker.
one final coat of the white paint before we do clear. Just wanna make sure you have everything covered, all the corners really well, no chrome peeking through. All right, we've waited about 30 minutes or so. Ready to throw some clear on here. We just got some Rust-Oleum. Gloss clear. And Not the biggest fan of this nozzle, but it is what it is. All right, it's probably gonna be our final coat of clear. All right, so we are ready to put this thing back together. And as you see right here, arrow pointing down. See right here, arrow pointing down. If you did want to paint this whatever color just use the same steps just use this you can like i did on my last truck sand this down to where it is smooth but we're just going to leave it textured and factory black you can use double-sided tape if you want to i just use some good glue and we're going to just put some on here and then glue her down your little holes or pins, whatever you want to call them, should help you line it up. And then, as you see, they pop back in there and they kind of hold it down. Whereas if you don't have those, you're gonna to have to sit here and hold this till the glue dries. Just gonna let it sit there and cure, and then we'll be ready to put it on the truck. So I'll catch up with y'all when we're gonna swap the factory grill back into the truck with the new bow tie and see what it looks like. Product. I think it looks pretty mean. Hopefully y'all did enjoy and learned how to do your bow tie now and you can customize your own truck. I think it came out, it came out. <laughs> I think it came out really good. The truck's filthy, but just a totally different look than the white grill and the reversed black and white bow tie. Sorry about the wind. We're about to, uh, it's another day of tornadoes, unfortunately here in Alabama. Only good thing is hopefully it will beat the pollen out of the pine trees because pollen is absolutely insane right now. But also did get run off from where y'all film. Y'all probably saw the little clip, little, little B-roll. Dude come rolling up on me hard. I'll put a clip in here. Man, they like low key call security on me or something. Dude come rolling up on me hard from the road. Asked me like what I was doing and stuff. I was like, man, I'm just shooting a video. It's YouTube. He's like, all right. He got me to rev it up, playing it cool. I don't know if he was genuinely like, like the truck or what, but then he just turned around and came back to the gate and it's like a water plant out there. It ain't that serious. What y'all, what y'all got out there, huh? So yeah, that was pretty weird. I'll link a video in the description where I, I show y'all exactly how to take the grill out. You can just take a pry without taking the grill out. Take a pry behind here and wedge this and pop it out. But it's a little forceful. Uh, I'd recommend that if you have a chrome grill. But if you have a painted grill, it's probably a little hard on the truck, and you you don't really want to scratch your paint up on the grill with that said though we going to pick up earl trail boss is going to take a little snooze in the basement until tomorrow because tornadoes and hail eh, i think i'll pass with the trail boss Concerned about Lair Bear? Just chilling under the barn, safe as can be, unless a tree falls on it. So, we just had a tornado like 20 minutes from here, really bad one. Uh, power went out at work, so I got off over here at Lauren's parents' house, and uh, they're out working. So, I'm gonna move his trail boss in the basement and then get rolled down here.
I don't have a basement at my house. So I usually drop the trail boss off at my parents' house. And then I'm up, up, if I'm up here at work, then we'll go to Lauren's parents' house, which is this. Earl's here, chilling, being a beast, covered in bird poop because they just, they won't quit. But anyways, hopefully y'all are staying safe, dude. There's been some really bad storms, tornadoes. Uh, just sucks. It's one of those things, dudes. Second week in a row, it's been bad. So anyways, with that being said, hopefully y'all stay safe. Once again, say a prayer for Earl. You stay safe out here early. You know, don't get floated off by a nader. And, uh, you know, if it starts hailing, just take it like a champ, dude. <laughs> Be strong, girl. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.